welcome to our tech support video. Today we're tackling a frustrating issue that many developers encounter with Visual Studio 2017. Our viewer has recently updated to version 15.2 and is facing persistent problems with files being locked during the build process. They received an error message stating that the system could not copy a specific DLL file exceeding the retry count. Despite trying to run Visual Studio with and without administrative privileges and following suggestions for older versions, they are still stuck. Let's dive into this issue and explore some potential solutions together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. If you're experiencing file locking issues in Visual Studio 2017, the first step is to ensure that no other processes are using the files. This can often happen if the build process is interrupted. Next, try cleaning your solution. This can help remove any temporary files that might be causing the lock. To do this, go to the Build menu and select Clean Solution. If cleaning the solution doesn't work, consider deleting the bin and object folders manually. These folders can sometimes retain locks on files. Another option is to check your antivirus settings. Sometimes antivirus software can interfere with file access during builds. Try adding your project folder to the exclusion list. Finally, if the issue persists, consider updating Visual Studio to the latest version or repairing your installation. This can resolve underlying issues that may be causing the file locks. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If you're facing file locking issues in Visual Studio 2017, updating to version 2643.12 will fix the problem. The previous version had a bug that caused this. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. Visual Studio 2017 can experience file locking issues due to testhost.exe or testhost.x86.exe. This can lead to indefinite test explorer activity and timeout warnings even after closing Visual Studio. If you're using NUnit or similar frameworks, ensure that your test discovery doesn't create infinite loops or crashes, as this can hang the test host executable before tests even run. To ensure test discovery completes, consider using functions from a test itself and disabling them as test case or test case source. If a test hangs or crashes, that's likely the issue. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To resolve file locking issues in Visual Studio 2017, 
one user found success by rerunning the program and selecting the option to run the last successful build. This action cleared the locks on the files. I hope that's found the resolution that you're looking for and you managed to work your way through your issue. Please, if it did help, hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next technical time you need help, have a good one.